good morning. Great to be with you again on this Wednesday. You are with George at Growth Point, growing as you're going through life. And we've been speaking about the prodigal, the lost son, yes, found by the father as he returned to the father. Notice this, that the prodigal returned to the father and the father was there to embrace him. Now today, you have a seat at God's table. <laughs> Come on. Jesus has prepared that seat at the table of the Father for you today. You have come to the Father. When you come to the Father with a heart of repentance, notice this, the seat has been prepared for you. You are welcomed home. So, so we need to note this, that what brings us to the Father is a heart that is filled with repentance, saying, Father, I don't want to live this life that I used to live. Uh, the, the life that I've lived, I know has hurt you. It's harmed you. It's pushed me away from you. But I know what's going to bring me to you today is the confession that I have that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's dealt with my sin upon the cross of Calvary. Now I repent of my sin. I bring my sin before the cross and there I know that Jesus will forgive me just as he forgave that man that hung alongside of him and said today you will be with me in paradise now if you were caught trying to work your way back into the father's house the older brother would never have allowed you access into the father's presence so what am I saying I'm saying if the elder brother caught you before the father saw you he would have never allowed you why he would have placed all sorts of condemnation upon your life, saying to you, you are not worthy of God's repent of forgiveness. No matter how much you repent, God will not forgive because of your past. Now, that's a lie. This is what the enemy wants to do. He wants to keep you in the lie. You know what? The work is a finished work upon the cross of Calvary. The older brother reminds one of a selfish lifestyle that pays no attention to the lost and the dying world in need of God's love grace and mercy you see let me say to you religion is all about self <laughs> it's what you can gain it's what you can obtain it's what you can get not what you can give you know jesus said that we need to pick up our cross and follow him now now again you know the older brother says no 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 you don't have to do that you're just gonna have to live a good life no goodness the good living a good life does not bring you into heaven uh, the only one that can bring you into heaven is the doorway through the cross yes by accepting that of what jesus christ did for you and i upon the cross of calvary good works <laughs> man they mean beans at the end of the day really they mean nothing there, there there is no way that i can enter into heaven through a good work mentality i have to come through the door of the lord jesus christ and of that what he accomplished for me upon the cross of calvary now luke 15 28 says the older brother was angry <laughs> come on isn't it crazy you can see the anger of the older brother you know closing doors on those who need to come through those who with the heart of repentance though they lost their ways uh the older brother says no you're not welcome no no first go and sort your life out no the only one that can sort your life out is the lord jesus christ come on that is why he said i'm going to the father but i'm not going to leave you without a counselor i'm going to send you holy spirit who's going to help you who's going to counsel you who's going to walk alongside of you who's going to intercede on your behalf half this is what he's going to do he's going to help you the only one that can help me through life is holy spirit the only one that can keep me and my feet placed firmly upon that narrow road is holy spirit because the road is narrow you hear what i'm saying to you it's a narrow road and we need holy spirit to guide us lead us and help us to maintain a a constant fellowship with father god on this narrow road that we're living because the enemy is throwing all sorts of darts at us that is why we have that shield of faith not so that will hold off the fiery darts of the enemy knowing again that my faith and my trust is found in the person of Christ Jesus and not the older brother. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Listen to what he says. He says, Father, you never gave me anything. Never a feast. Never gave me a feast. And yet the father says, but hey, everything that you have is yours already. You don't have to obtain it because you are already in my presence. You hear what I'm saying to you? So the older brother failed to see that he never left the presence of the father. He had all he needed. So, you might be one of those older brothers uh, that fights against those who want to surrender their lives to the Lord and say, no, first go and get your life sorted out. No, no, no. Let them come as they are and in introduce them to the Father who will embrace them with the robe of the righteousness of His Son, Christ 
Jesus. You see, the one thing about the older brother who is full of religion, of works, righteous salvation, it's all about him and the space of religious works that he is able to do. He wants you to work in that space of, of the religious works that he alone can do. No, <laughs> your religion is not going to bring you into the kingdom of God. Jesus never came looking for the righteous. He came for the lost and he always looking for those who are lost and lost their way. Luke 15, 4 says this, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over 99 who are righteous and haven't strayed away way. You see, if you are waiting for God to show up during your Sunday service, get the lost saved. You know, somebody say, oh man, if only we can experience the presence of God in our service. I want to say to you, if you want to experience the presence of God and the angels of heaven rejoicing with you, get the lost saved. So what do I need to do? I need to invite my lost friends to church so they can encounter what the prodigal encountered, the embrace of the Father. Come on, invite somebody to church who is lost and see God do a work on their behalf.